What's up, Pisces gang? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Okay, Misty. Misty just wanted to, like, she won't get down. Okay, now she's getting down. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome. I am Quisha here with Abundant Healing. I was sent here from the universe to give you guys some good messages, some good love, some good reading, some good vibes, honey. I was sent here to give it to you, and that's exactly what I'm doing. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Welcome to your daily money reading. <laughs> Y'all, I literally have a, a slight case of OCD because like before I start my reading, all of my cards have to be like straight. <laughs> Anywho, thank you guys so much for being here. We do these readings every single day. If you are a true Pisces and you want to go along this journey with us, if you want to receive channel messages from the universe on how you can become more abundant and how you can receive more money and attract more money into your life, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, honey, because we would love to have you here. Okay? Um, thank you guys to all of my returning subscribers, all of my Pisces gang, all of my supporters. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the links in the description box. We have personalized money readings over there for you guys. That's only $20. We also have Pisces collections. So if you want any Pisces merch, bracelets, necklaces, coffee mugs, posters, anything like that, Pisces collections has it all. Um, also, we have self-love mystery boxes. If you want to promote more self-love, then get you a self-love mystery box. We also have wealth and abundance mystery box. So if you want to use tools and crystals and things to promote more money and attract more money into your life, then go ahead and get you a wealth and abundance mystery box, okay? Thank you guys. Again, for all your support. I really appreciate you guys. All right. Remember that, remember that if anything in this video resonates with you, to leave me a comment. Also, hit that like button. And if you are not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button, honey. Okay? Thank you. I appreciate you guys for subscribing. Um, I, I really do. I remember when I didn't have any subscribers. I remember when I only had 10. So, now I'm at like 2,700. That is a huge deal for me. But, you know, my goal is to get... 10. I don't know. I don't even really have a goal of how many subscribers. I just know I just want to reach as many Pisces people as I can. So share this video with your Pisces friends, your Pisces family. Um, and yeah, let's 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 run it up. Okay. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. Let's jump into your reading. Universe, what messages do you have for me to give to the beautiful Pisces collected today in regards to money? Please bring in the most relevant messages, the most accurate predictions for the Pisces collected today in regards to money, in regards to finances, in regards to their success, in regards to their jobs and careers. What messages, what advice can I give the Pisces collective today? Thank you so much, universe. Please bring in the most relevant messages for the Pisces collective. First card coming out, the five of pentacles. Okay. Okay, second card is the Six of Cups. Damn, I just did a reading with the Six of Cups. Okay. All right, now we have three cards that is showing out for us. Showing up at the bottom here, we have the Chariot, followed by the Ace of Swords and the Tower. On the top, we have the World, followed by the Two of Cups and the Justice card. Okay. Five of Swords again. This is okay. This reading is really. I feel like there's some of the same cards in the last reading that I did. The last reading I did, the Five of Swords, the Six of Cups, the. What else I said? The Justice card was there in those. In that last reading that I did. So maybe this is for the same person. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Showing up here in your recent past, Pisces, you have the Five of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles is saying that you feel left out in the cold in some type of way. And regarding your finances, you feel like you just can't get ahead. You feel like 
okay i feel like you see someone else or you see, it's like you're watching someone else or you're paying attention to someone else okay okay all right so i feel like here pisces this reading is for someone that has been struggling financially you feel like you feel like that you have been left out um, in the cold. That's what the Five of Pentacles says. The Five of Pentacles saying that you feel like you've been left out in the cold. Okay? In regards to your finances and your success, what I'm getting from this Five of Pentacles is that you're struggling financially and you want to ask for help, but your pride won't allow you to go get help. Okay? Your pride won't allow you to do this. It's like you would rather sleep in your car before you ask somebody for help. Like, can y'all see this, um, these people that are in this um, illustration, how they're like really like wounded and they're kind of like cold and they want to go in, but they're just like not going in for whatever reason. I feel like this is someone here who has been struggling financially and you want to ask somebody for help. You've been watching other people and you've been seeing that they are you know, where you would like to be. You want to ask for help, but your pride won't allow you to do it. Like, you won't. And I get it. I totally get it. One second. I get it, Pisces. A lot of us do not like asking for help. We would rather, like I said, sleep in your car. You would rather... Like you, you would, you would do anything other than ask somebody for help. I don't know why we are like that, but a lot of us are like that. You do not like asking anybody for anything, even if it's your mama, even if it's your significant other, you do not like asking, but the universe is saying here, Pisces, it is okay to ask for help. It is okay to reach out for help when you need it. Okay, it's okay. I feel like with the five is saying that there may be some, there is change, okay? But there may be some type of conflict in regards to, okay, that's what I'm getting. Thank you, universe. What I'm hearing is your ego and your soul is, conf, is conflicting, right? Because your soul is saying, Pisces, it's okay, to ask for help. It's okay. Like, just look. You know they're going to give it to you. Or you know they're going to give you the knowledge or whatever. Even if it's not money. Even if it's just like wisdom or just like you want some type of help with your business or whatever the case may be. The universe is saying, it's okay, Pisces. Your, your soul is saying, it's okay to ask for help. But your ego is saying, no, don't do it. Don't do it because they're going to throw it up in your face. Or you're going to look like a bum. Or you're going to look like a the health and you just don't you know what i'm saying so it's a conflict of interest between your soul and your ego and you have to follow your heart okay trust your intuition and follow your heart do not allow your ego to um, stop you from living to your fullest potential showing up here in your current moment pisces you have the six of cups okay the six of cups is speaking more about nostalgic the past okay thank you universe what i'm getting is that maybe you need to heal from the past and maybe that is why you are the way you are because of the past experiences that you've re that you had to endure because of the way you grew up you know, maybe your mom was not the type of person to... Maybe you were raised by an independent mother. Maybe you were raised by a single mom. And the way that your mom did things is kind of how you... And, and that's just normally. That's just what we do. We learn from our parents subconsciously. Even if we don't want to be like our parents, in some sort of way, we end up being just like them. <laughs> um... So you're just like your mom. You don't want to ask for help. Or if you wasn't raised by your mom, if you was raised by your grandma or your aunt or someone like that, and they were single and independent and they took care of themselves, 
I feel like that's where the type of person that you are, you want to take care of yourself, but you also want to take care of other people as well. You also want to give back, but you don't want to ask for help. But it's because you have seen this growing up and this is what you, it's like you don't want to, you don't want to be looked at or you don't want to feel like you can't hold your own. Okay, when really that's really what really what the Six of Cups is saying that you need to heal from that. You need to heal from feeling like, um, you know, that you are shameful, okay? Because what I've just learned when I'm reading this book and, and it's called The Seat of the Soul, I, I recommend this book. Really, really great book. I'm almost, I'm, well, I'm not I'm almost done. I'm in the middle of the uh, book. But it said that your fear, I mean, your the way that fear becomes, because I feel like you have fear of asking for help. That's the fear that you have. And the reason why you have that fear is because in the beginning, that fear was born from, born from being, from feeling shame. Okay. So after you feel shame, then there is guilt. Okay. Then after the guilt comes the fear. Okay. So that is how fear is born or that is how fear, fear is created. It's created from feeling shameful, okay? So that's why you are the way you are now because in the past, you did, you felt ashamed for asking for help. You felt ashamed for wanting to, you know, just receive something from someone or just taking something from someone. It's like you, you feel ashamed because you don't want to be looked at like the help or a bum or whatever the case may be. Okay, but the universe is saying that you have to heal that part of yourself because if you don't, then you're going to keep going through these situations that is, that's how the universe works. When you don't, when your soul needs to be healed from something, because that's what it is, your soul wants you to heal from this. And that's why you are going through this because your soul is saying, I need this part of you to be healed. Okay, and in order for you to start the healing, it has to start from your childhood. Okay, so you got to do some some childhood healing. You got to maybe talk to a therapist or just do some inner work within yourself. Uh, meditation, guided meditation, go within yourself and heal yourself. Heal that child that's in you. Heal that inner child within you. And that way, you're, you'll feel more lighter. You're going to get rid of that fear. And you're going to come out on the other side. Because here, showing up in your near future, you have the high priestess. The high priestess is full of wisdom and knowledge, okay? Full of wisdom and knowledge, full of balance, trusting your intuition, okay? Because you're going to come out of this situation on top and you're going to be so, like, radiant, okay? Because I feel like the high priestess is, she is really, she's really tuned in to her intuition, Okay, she's really tuned in to that inner knowing, that inner knowledge, okay? And she has and she has so much knowledge to give back as well. Okay, Miss Sam. So yeah, I feel like once you have healed this inner child or you've healed that part of your soul that is afraid to ask for help because you're feeling shameful or you the fear of feeling like um less than who you are you are going to be so radiant like it's going to be like a like a like a shift has happened okay a weight has lifted off your shoulder and now here you are feeling light as you can you can you see that she's like floating on this um, crescent moon symbolizing her intuition so you're going to be guided by your intuition you're going to be guided by your by your angels and your guides okay and you're going to find balance pisces all right okay so showing up here to clarify these two or the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Cups, we have the Five of Swords. Okay, now, this could also be 
the reason why you feel this way, you feel like you're being left out in the cold or you feel like you can't ask somebody for help is because People throw it up in your face. I feel like that's what it is. That's why you have this conflict within your ego and your soul because you have asked for help in the past and someone threw it up in your face and they made it seem as if they were the ones that was, I. you got to come to me for it. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you see how this person is looking? Like, yeah, you want these swords. Yeah, but it's, it's like, I don't know, it's some type of conflict. Fives are all about, in the tarot deck cards, fives are about conflict. Okay, and you have the five of pentacles and the five, five of swords. So there's some type of conflict that you feel with other people in asking for help. And other people feeling like they got one up on you or feeling like, you know, um, or just, I feel like someone has threw up, not threw up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but not, it didn't sound right. It, what I'm getting is that I feel like somebody has thrown up in your face. That sounds disgusting <laughs> when I say that. <laughs> okay, right, okay. When, when you ask for help from somebody, when you have asked for help in the past from somebody, it's like they try to throw it up in your face and make you feel like um, that you need them. And that's really what it is. You don't want to feel like you need nobody. Okay? And this person in the past made you feel that way. And that's kind of why you are the way you are. But the hanged one is here as well. And the hanged one is saying to see things from a different perspective. The hanged one is here to uh, clarify the Six of Cups and the High Priestess. So this is saying that you are becoming more enlightened, Pisces. Okay, with the high priestess and the hanged one here, you are becoming more enlightened. Okay, and you are becoming more, the more you learn, the more knowledge that you receive, the more stable you are going to become within your mind. The more um, spiritual enlightened that you're going to become. Okay, because that's where you're, that's, that's what your soul wants. Your soul wants you to be enlightened spiritually your soul wants you to be um, um, more connected to it your soul wants you to connect more to your higher self and get out of this physical realm of this physical way of thinking and and thank you universe okay so another thing that i'm learning from the book is that a lot of us we operate we operate from a um what is it called a five cents um like we only operate from our five senses, right? Touch, taste, smell, hear, see. Okay. Um, and that's just the physical, that's because that's how we interact with the physical realm or the physical world. So you're using all of your five senses to navigate through life when really we are multi-sense beings. Okay. We have more than just those five senses. The sixth sense is your intuition. Okay, and that's what the universe is saying here. The universe is saying to um, operate, feel your way through life on a multi-sense dimension versus a five-sense dimension. You need to, you need to really um, hone in on your intuition and become more, um, become more aligned with your higher self. All right, we'll get one more card. All right, boom, boom. Knight of Wands, temperance here at the bottom. Knight of Wands coming here to sum up this reading. And the Knight of Wands is all about action. Okay? So when you are learning all of these things, you are... When you are learning all of these things, all of these tools and knowledge that the universe is giving you in order for you to be successful, you got to put this, you got to put it to action. You got to, you got to hit the ground running. Okay. And you are going to hit the ground running. You are, you are, you're going to be so powerful. Um, and it's like, you're going to be accomplishing everything that you see. Um, all of your 
goals, all of your dreams, all of your desires are going to be, um, you're going to start seeing these things come to fruition because you're putting the action behind all of these things. All of you, everything that you want and desire, you know that if you do this every single day, if you are consistent every single day, then you are on the right path to your goals, okay? To uh, accomplish your dreams. But there's a lot of fast pace that is happening as well, Pisces, with this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is so ambition. Like this Knight of Wands is super, super ambitious. And I feel like that's who you are. You're naturally an ambitious person, but I feel like your soul needs to be healed from feeling like you can't ask for help. You can't ask for knowledge. You can't ask anybody because you want to do it there. You want to do it all by yourself. Okay. Once you have healed yourself from that, once you have healed your soul and your soul is able to live freely now, you are going to be accomplishing so much stuff. You are going to be manifesting so much into the physical realm. Because you're going to have a balance between the physical and the spiritual realm. Because that's what the high priestess is here saying. That there has to be a balance between the physical and the non-physical realm. There has to be a balance between your conscience and your non and, and your subconscious. Okay? And I feel like you are getting this balance. And once this balance is, is becoming... Once this balance becomes aligned with who you are, you are going to be so fierce. And you are going to take off like like a freaking rocket ship like i feel like you you just gonna excel in whatever it is that you're doing you're going to excel in whatever it is that you are doing for work whatever it is that you are doing within your career all right i'm gonna give you a question to ask yourself and then we're gonna close this reading okay <laughs> thank you universe look at this the question that you can ask yourself today pisces am i on the right path Ask yourself this question, am I on the right path? Sometimes we second guess what we are doing. We lose trust in the process and question if we are even on the right path. Like I said, you are struggling financially and you're ask, you need to ask yourself, are you on the right path? Know this, you are on the right path. Keep going, keep believing, Keep remembering that you made a soul contract that you are currently fulfilling in every area of your life. Even if you can't see it, that doesn't mean that it's not real. Okay? Even if you can't see the, the blessings and the, you know, that the abundance that the universe have, if you can't see it, that doesn't mean that it's not real. That's when you have to trust your intuition. Okay? Today, soul action. Today, search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose this is what i've been saying mm, thank you universe thank you thank you thank you for this beautiful message today search for all the ways you are aligned with your soul's purpose the signs will appear let this newfound trust fuel your next steps this is such a beautiful reading i love that this just came all together so perfectly like i love this and i hope that this message resonates with someone please 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 comment below let me know if anything in this message resonates with you remember to always take what resonates and leave the rest because everything is not going to resonate with everyone so take what resonates and leave the rest thank you beautiful pisces for joining me i really really appreciate you guys for always tuning in always making it to the end thank you so much i love you and remember if you want to support the channel more all the links are down below in the description box. If you want free crystals, email me and I'll get you some crystals, okay? Thank you, baby. Oh, I'm so happy. I just love this reading. I don't even want to end it. Like, it's just such a great, great reading, okay? Thank you, my loves. I really love you guys, okay? Thank you so much for all the support, all right? And I hope each and every one of you guys are having a beautiful day, okay? Bye!